Man versus society is like being the nail that sticks out. Society is the hammer. When we talk about the conflict of man versus society in literature or film, we're dissecting a classic narrative engine where our protagonist is clashing with societal norms. Think McMurphy in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, or Katniss Everdeen from The Hunger Games. These are characters who question the status quo and, in doing so, invite conflict. It's rooted in the notion that societies are inherently structured to push a set of norms, values, and laws. When you adhere to them, society rewards you. You get the metaphorical head pats and tax breaks. When you challenge them, it's a whole different experience. In Portland, Oregon, where I reside, we've seen our fair share of man versus society play out in real time. Consider the social justice movements that have swept through the streets. They literally embody this conflict. Individuals or groups pushing against societal structures they see as unfair or oppressive. So, why does this theme resonate in our stories? First, there's the underdog factor. We root for the lone wolf who's surrounded by a pack of conformist coyotes. It's David versus Goliath on a psychological level. We love a good underdog story because at some point we all feel like the underdog. Secondly, it touches on our intrinsic sense of justice. Seeing character fight against an unjust society stirs something deep within us. Maybe it's empathy, or perhaps it's aspirational. We see their battles as our own. Thirdly, society is a mirror. When done well, man versus society tales force us to look at ourselves, scrutinize our beliefs, and perhaps adjust our views. It's healthy, though not always comfortable. Finally, this type of conflict is a crucible for character development. Pressure makes diamonds, and societal pressure can turn a lump of character coal into something brilliant and unbreakable. Characters in these stories? They're the mosaic tiles that fell off the wall. And while the floor may not be where society intended for them to be, they often make the most beautiful art down there. In any case, it's a timeless narrative because society is always evolving, but it will always have its norms, and there will always be those who are willing to push back.